How do, Vill Lord Touch here, and for those that have seen my channel before, you will know that I quite like the Usborn, was it Usborn or Usborn, Usborn box. I've been collecting them for a while, since I was tiny, to be honest with you, though I did stop collecting them in my teens. Uh, these were a source of learning how to program when you were... Uh, a little. They were really good. In in all honesty, though, if we're going to be honest, some of the games were fair crap. Uh, if we're being honest, but they were really useful. They taught you how, what the commands did for the basic types, like me. Uh, I recently got these. These are really cool. Uh, I didn't even know these existed till just a few years ago. Uh, like spy games and uh, weird computer games and creepy computer games. It turns out these like given in handed out in schools and stuff like this. But these are really cool. Uh, anywho, I digress. So I collected these books, but there was one I always wanted, and it was. Uh, what was it called? The Mystery of the Silver Mountain. And in my last Usborn book video, I mentioned it. And it was on. It's always on eBay, and it always costs a fortune. However, uh, the other day someone was talking about the, these set of books on uh, Facebook, and I mentioned there's one book I'm always after, always costs a fortune, and it's the book I just mentioned, The Mystery of Silver Mountain. And a chap called Gavin said, hey, I can get that for you. Uh, I can get it for you in about a week if you still want it. And I said, via private messages, he said, yeah, but it costs a fortune. He said, it won't cost you a fortune. And it flipping didn't. And lo and behold, <laughs> the mystery of the Silver Mountain is now mine. Look at it. In all its papery goodness. So, so what we're going to do now is we'll have a quick flick through it and then we'll come back and I shall put it with my collection and it'll sit on my bookshelf. And what I'm going to try and do, I ain't going to type it out. I haven't got the patience like I did when I was about eight. But I'm going to see if I can find the game and we'll play it, see what it's like. Uh, but look, I have now got it, The Mystery of the Silver Mountain. Thank you, Gavin, for sending it over in swaps for pennies. But I've got it now in my flipping collection. Turns out another one called The Island of Secrets. Didn't know about that. But that one didn't bother my head as much as this one did, so I don't know if I'm as fussed as with that one. But anywho, Going to go away, we'll have a look through it. Then we'll come back and say, wasn't that great? So, stay there. We'll f open it up now. Right, let's have a look inside. Now, it's from Usborn Books, but who made it? It was... Chris Oxlade and Judy Factual. It's Usborn Books, isn't it? Not Osborne Books. It's Usborn Books. Now, I've had a look through this already. I'm not going in this blind. And it's quite a cool book. They were all cool books. Uh, like here, it goes into like the story of the Silver Mountain. It really puts meat on the bone. It's quite fantastic how it does it. It doesn't just say like, doesn't just say, sorry, here is adventure game, type in and away you go. Here, it tells you about the land of it all. It's quite smart. If you got this, if you were like this gifted this, it really sets up the huge background story of it. I say huge. Look, here's your big meanies. Like your grogs and your trolls and your, your hounds and the hound needs good feed. It's just like all here. There's done a corking job of it. All the rest of them were great. Don't get me wrong. Like you had little robots telling you what ghosts have meant and go to meant and return. I think that was the fascination I liked with the Usborn books. It was like easy to access. It was user friendly. 
before user friendly was a thing. These are places like Edge of the Lake and the Goblin Graveyard. Look at that. In your brain now, let's just put that picture of the Goblin Graveyard in for a text adventure. What have we got? Stone Circle. The High Pinnacle. Who's put that rope on that High Pinnacle? The library. <laughs> the library. And here's the listing. And as with all those bum books, uh, you've got love from, from the TRS-80, the Apple, BBC, the Spectrum, Commodore 64, the VIC-20. They're all here. And what it does, it tells you where to change it, how to change it for all machines as well. It's really great. If you have a Commodore 64, leave out the spaces, etc., etc. Try using the rule under your listing so you know where you're typing. Isn't it clever? These are the little things that make these books great. What have we got here? Well, be careful not to confuse I with 1 and O with 0. That would have been more useful at the beginning of the listing, I think. Rather than halfway through it. There's loads here, isn't there? This is like a Saturday afternoon listing. With a gold bullion bar chomping on it. Or an island toffee. Be careful not to miss anything out of these data lines. What's that? Water wheel. Bells. Examine. That's your search commands, isn't it? There's loads of them. Absolute truckloads of programming here. Oh yes, look. North, northwest. That is definitely your command lines. Crossroads. Brilliant. There's loads in this. Absolutely loads in this. And we'll change the difference for different computers. See? It was all here in this book. For the specky too. I love it. That's what made these books brilliant. Uh, what, I might, what I'd like to do is play this. I think I said that before, didn't I? I did. Yeah, I'm definitely going to find it. Saving on the specy. So you could save this game part way through as well. Hints and clues. And they are back to front as well. <laughs> back to front the hints and clues. <laughs> look at that. Silver Nemesis program. Oh, look. You can write off and send a 599 post load or check. I'm going to flipping do that. I'm going to flip and do that. I'm going to write off and get one of those. Island of Secrets is another book. Do I want that? Do I need another quest? I don't know. So, yes. I'm going to see if I can send it. I, I'm not that checker anymore, but I wonder if they still do postal orders. I wonder if that's still their address. Anyway, I'm going to send a postal order to that address uh, and say, Hi, can I have a silver mountain program? So, please. Wouldn't it be grand if they still got like a, a cardboard box full of them and they'd be saying, What do we do with these? And then some idiot sends a letter into them. So, I'm going to send a letter off to them and say, There's my 599 70 cassette. But that's the mystery of the silver mountain. Again, Gavin, thank you very much for brokering the deal. It's now going to go in my collection. I am very happy that it's now mine. Uh, and look out for me playing this game in the coming future. Hopefully it's great. Imagine me wanting this for so long and it's well, of dog crap. But it doesn't look crap, does it? All that stuff in it like where the locations and the people you gotta meet and the background story it doesn't look crap at all. Bye bye. So TTFN, cut off and now cheerio bye bye. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye.